Thank you for joining me for your home practice. Today we're going to continue to focus on chronic low back pain. So that has limited you from walking or other daily activities. And we're going to work on a little bit on the core to help support the back. And for the practice, you can use a block, a yoga block, if you have one, uh, or a book, or you could also use like a firm uh, couch potato, 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 <laughs> a firm couch pillow, yes, not a potato. And we will come and begin right down on your backs. So come on down, come on down onto your back and have your block or book or pillow really close by. And start with the knees bent. We're going to start with a pelvic tilt so you can let your shoulder blades come down and under. Let the head rest completely and feel, begin by feeling the length in the spine. So press the feet gently down into the floor so that you can feel the leg. So come on down, come on down onto your back and have your block or book or pillow really close by and start with the knees bent we're going to start with a pelvic tilt so you can let your shoulder blades come down and under let the head rest completely and feel begin by feeling the length in the spine so press the feet gently down into the floor so that you can feel the legs active and this will activate the backs of the legs and then on the as you do this movement flatten the belly and it doesn't matter how big or voluptuous your belly is this is not about getting small or, or trying to suck the belly in it's more like you're scooping tilting the tailbone out and that's going to flatten the low back and tilt the pelvis up and then you release and you come into a, a released, relaxed back. And then again, you can press and press the low back down and then release. And again, press the low back down, feel that area contract and come down and then release. Okay, and one more time, I'll just get my arm out of the way so you can see the low core presses down and then you release. Now then you can take your bum up in the air and just a little bit, just enough to get the block underneath. Now you're gonna have a tilted longer spine and you wanna check and make sure the shoulder blades are under. So again, you make sure that the neck stays long and free. And then you can um, do a pelvic tilt. And again, I'll get this arm out of the way to see. And you wanna send the tailbone up now my block is going to tip a little bit and it's kind of going to do a bit of a wheelie <laughs> and that's going to help to send the tailbone up and to get more uh, pressure in the lower lumbar region in a good pressing way and that will help to tilt the tailbone up. Now again, you keep the upper body relaxed and you're going to go up and down and you'll exhale as you send the tailbone up and then you'll release and come down. So one more time, you're gonna exhale and press the tailbone away and then release and come back down. Okay, now the next is to press the middle core down. You can take your right hand and place it on top of the core and you're, you're gonna have your ring finger in line with your belly button. Then you relax the shoulders, the neck, and you want to exhale and press the belly down, and the tailbone is going to do a tiny tilt forward and up, and then release. And now exhale and send the tailbone out a little bit. And again, these are micro moves, and then release. And once more, exhale and press the tailbone away, and then release and you can let the arm go back down to the side. Great. Now take the block out from underneath you, lower the back down, and then gently pull the right knee up and in. 
and you can just press the knee it's coming to the outside and then bringing the left leg coming to the outside and let the elbows bend and pull the knees in wide to press into the low sacral area and come into your breathing breath so you've got the knees pulling in and then slowly slowly take the heels towards the ceiling you're doing this in micro moves so you can feel each part of the back that needs to stay in contact with the floor the low back now just grab on somewhere low maybe the shins maybe the feet if you've got short legs like me and you can keep the knees bending to the outside as you keep the low back pressing down now if it's okay to turn a little side to side pull your left knee in a little closer and that'll get your tailbone tipping to the left and then over to the right just a little bend over to the right coming over and then back to the left tipping and bending that left knee down and then over to the right and you bend that right knee in okay great and then hold on to the backs of the knees see if you can take the feet up a little more totally fine if this is it you know if you're down here the plan is to send the feet higher so that you can draw the tailbone over a little bit more and then you hold on again and see if you can pull the feet even more and you can hold on anywhere on the legs low legs or the feet again short legs and then you can press the knees down and towards the head to get that compression in the low back the elbows are bending and then you can again tip a little bit to the right and keep the feet towards the head so the low back stays really really pressed down nicely and then you come over to the left so if you have um, any kind of osteoarthritis it's really nice to move slowly or osteopenia or arthritis it's nice to move slowly in little micro moves you're steering left and right to feel where you're compressing and that pressure that squeeze can help with um, like if a disc is a little bit out it'll help to press that area gently it's not going to push a bone back but it is going to help to create some compression and that can give some squeeze in any of the muscles around it and that's that's sometimes like a pressing a massage release and then you can let your heels down hold on to your knees to support yourself have the feet flat rest the arms to the side and then take the hands beside, um, sorry, behind the head and interlace the fingers. Now inhale and then exhale and tuck the chin and press the low back down. So you're going to do that pelvic tilt again. Send the tailbone out. As the chin stays tucked and it's like you're making a triple double chin, you're going to really lengthen through the upper back. Keep pressing the feet down to compress the low back and then keep your chin tucked in and slowly start to lower coming down and then come all the way down and you can rest your arms to the side and you are done take a moment to sit lie here and feel the effects of all the stretches and lengthenings you've done in your low back and just feel really smart <laughs> That you took this time and you're helping your spine and you're increasing your blood flow and you're probably going to move better after this so enjoy